we're sorting shapes. That's right, I'm Ricky. And I'm Jamie. Ricky, have you ever done anything foolish because you thought that it would help you fit in? I, we were doing some kind of eating challenge and I was like, yeah, I'll be the one to do it. And I ate uh, lime jello corn. Um, it did not taste good and I almost threw up everywhere. Ugh, I would have too, those textures. Yeah, Gross. it was it was real bad, but I was like, am I, am I cool now? So all of mine were more fashion related. I remember wearing a lot of like white eyeshadow and white mm. eyeliner and a lot of layers. Uh, I'd wear like a dress and then a tank top and then a shirt over the dress and over the tank top. Lots of layers. W were you sweaty? <laughs> Sounds like a lot of layers I'm sure going I on. was sweaty. We all know that my armpits get very sweaty. <laughs> Everyone wants to feel like they belong. Even action figures. They don't have sweaty pits. They don't sweat at all. How can you tell if you measure up? Well, that's pretty easy. I mean, I just get next to you right here. You're a little bit taller than me, so clearly I don't measure up. Well, do you fill the bucket or not? You know what I mean? Do you measure up? Because I, if you do, I'd love to know how. To me, you're tall, in your heart. To fit in with us, you've got to always have a smile on your face. Even if you're feeling a little bit sad, you got to pretend to be happy. Yes, yes, watch. Cheese! Cheese! I don't feel like there's a lot of crowds that I fit in with because I'm not fast enough. Move it along, I tell myself, but I am not fast. So I have a few rules for like fitting in with me. The biggest thing is you have to be able to flick your hair. Are you ready? Can you flick it? Like this? Oh, look at, oh. Like my brothers and my sisters, they're way more ferocious than me and mm -hmm. I'm not that ferocious. Look at my tooth, it's just hanging there. If you wanna fit in with me, you have got to be a good singer because I sing all the time. All the time? All the time. Can I hear your singing voice? All the voice? time. Whoa, you're great. When I oh, try to sing, you. I just, I keep getting lower. It's just a uh, problem. Maybe you should try beatboxing. Beat. <laughs> oh no, that's not a good idea. <laughs> Do I measure up? Have you ever asked that question? Have you ever wondered if you are enough? If you're cool enough, smart enough, pretty enough, popular enough, or whatever, enough? I know I have. I remember when I was going into middle school, I did not think I was enough. And so in order to make sure I had the right friends and had a great time in middle school, I changed almost everything about me. I abandoned my old friends so that I could make new friends. But the problem was that I never actually showed them who I really am because I was trying to be somebody else, somebody that I thought was enough. But what ended up happening is they never got to know the real me and I never got to know the real them because the entire time I was around them, I was just playing pretend. And it left me feeling really exhausted and alone. Have you ever felt that? Have you ever bought into the lie that you are not enough? Have you found yourself asking the question, do I measure up? Like if you were to fill in the blank, I'm not blank enough. What would go in the blank for you? Now, I wanna let you in on a secret. That phrase, that idea that you are not enough is actually one of the most dangerous ideas in the world. Because what it does is it causes us to focus on all the things that we aren't and lose sight of who we really are, which brings us to the lie. Because in the beginning, we were created by God to live in relationship with Him, with no shame, with no masks, with no cover up at all, just totally honest and vulnerable and real then sin messed it all up. Sin is this thing that makes us lose sight of what's real and what's true and what's good. And so instead of actually focusing on the relationship with God that we had, we wanted more. And we forgot. We forgot that we were already enough. We forgot that we were made in the image of God for a purpose and to live in relationship with Him. And instead of those things, relationship, purpose, value, we ended up drowning in shame comparison and insecurity. All of us have this longing to belong. Like deep down, we all want to have a place where we can just be ourselves with the people around us. Because belonging is being able to be yourself and be accepted for who you really are, flaws and all. And trying to change who you are to fit in is just twisting your God-given identity into somebody else's shape. And you were created for so much more than that. 
You were created for true belonging, to not buy into the lie that you've been told, but to understand who you really are and the type of relationship that you were created to be a part of. To demonstrate just how tough it can be to try to force ourselves to fit in, we've got a little challenge set up. That's right, we have to stick our hands through this tube to pick up the shapes and put them where they belong. Whoever has the fewest amounts of marks on their gloves wins round one. Oh, there's so many markers in here. Okay, all right. <laughs> uh, that's a block. Ooh, okay. oh, that's ah, good. definitely marked that. Ah. Ah. Oh, hello. Hi. You almost got it. It's a little flower. Woo. Okay. Try and move it forward. What's the shape? What's the shape? The pentagon. Eh. 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 Mm. Oh, no. Does this mean I automatically win? Oh, okay. okay. He just shook it. <laughs> All right. Here we go. And. Uh, oh, my gosh. You did so good. Oh my right. gosh. Here we go, that's it. Oh, this makes me so anxious. Okay, all right, I've got a good stance going to help right. with balance. Here you go, Jamie, go. Go, me go. Okay. I have a diamond. All right, okay, there's the diamond. Do you have any marks on your arm? Uh, oh my goodness, well, Jamie. Oh, I just got one, I think. Has just the tiniest little arm. This is one of those, ah, one more. One more. Oh no, I don't think it fits. Mean, it's a hexagon. I don't think I know shapes. Fit. Yeah, cause that one is an octagon. I think I got, that's why I got confused. It's, it's because. Oh, is this it? The other one was an octagon. Ha ha! Yay! Yay, Jamie. Uh, bye -bye. What? Uh, Impossible. I <laughs> but I do have many snags. No, I cannot. Are we? Do we even need a judge? Let's yeah, the I think we need to get an official judge in here. All right. Uh, Ricky zero. has about seven, and Jamie has zero. Woo! Jamie's clearly the winner. I'm the winner of round one. But Great. hey, there's a round two. Wonderful. I am God's creation. He made me a work of art. I belong to Christ Jesus. Now I'm going to play my part. Gonna do the good Lord's good works that he prepared a long time ago. Gonna do the good Lord's good works so everyone will see and everybody will know that we are God's creation. We were made a work of art. We belong to Christ Jesus. Now we're gonna play our part. Gonna do the good Lord's good works that he prepared a long time ago. Gonna do the good Lord's good works so everyone will see and everybody will know that we are God's creation. We belong to Christ Jesus Gonna do the good Lord's good works That he prepared a long time ago Gonna do the good Lord's good works So everyone will see him, everybody will know that I am God's creation, he made me a work of art I belong to Christ Jesus, now I'm gonna play my part um, So you were born and you were created blue and blue, blue is fantastic. You loved blue for a while because blue, who doesn't like it? It's blueberry cobblers and blue summer skies and blue ocean waves. I mean, blue is fantastic. Until that day you saw yellow. And yellow, I mean, everybody loves yellow, right? I mean, yellow is like, it's just happy. I mean, seriously, it's like, yellow's like <laughs> daisies, it's sunshine and freshly sharpened number two pencils, and it's baby chicks. I mean, who doesn't like yellow, right? It's so fantastic, and then you saw orange. And orange is warm, orange is like fall leaves and it's like basketball season, and orange is like pumpkins, and, and all those wonderful sunsets. I mean, orange is great. I love orange, and then it was good. Until you saw pink, and then there was pink. And you're like, well, pink, you know, I mean, seriously, like pink hair, and I don't care. Pink is like fantastic, I love pink, and who doesn't like pink? It's like cherry trees blossoming in the springtime, and it's like, pink strawberry donuts with sprinkles on them and little girls in princess dresses. It's pink and pink is fantastic. 
and you just kind of take a little bit of somebody else, a little bit of somebody else, and maybe, maybe one day somebody said to you, you should just be more like your sister. Or, or your friend was like, dude, why don't you like, seriously, couldn't you just be a little bit more like this? Why don't you just go do this? Or maybe somebody said to you, you know what, get your head out of the clouds. Quit thinking you were created to do that. You'll never amount to anything. And you believed it. And you just kept taking what everybody said. You just took a little bit of yellow, a little bit of orange, a little bit of pink, it'd be okay. And you just one day woke up and you were not you. You lost you along the way. You see, you got to understand that you are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works. You are special. You are loved. You are uniquely created in Christ. Be who God's created you to be. Round two! Inside this pool are two flip-flops that we must fit onto our feet. But to make this challenge difficult, we've got spiky shins! Spiky Woo! shins! Loop Show's spiky shins are now available in stores. Whoever pops the fewest balloons wins this round. All right, Jamie, you ready? Yes! Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> go, Jamie, go. All right, where are you? The, you where got, are you? Walk in the, get in there. Find those flip-flops. I've got the flip-flops. Oh, boy. Come here, flippy floppies. That's a pop. That's a pop. I found flippy floppies. Oh, I found one flippy floppy. That's right. I've only been flipped. I have not been flopped. Keep going. Ah! Oh, God, my flip flop. Ah! Three. <laughs> move it, move it. Did you find it? I, I found it. It's on my foot. Nice. Do I have to get back out, though? Walk. Walk in my flip flop. Gotta go back. Gotta go back. Ah! Stay away from my spiky shins. I will end your balloon life if you don't get out of my, my way. <laughs> Come on. Woo, let's go. Oh, no, I've got Go, Jamie, I'm go. trapped. Take a big step, big step. Big step, big step. Ah! <laughs> All right, I made it Hooray! out. <laughs> Four balloons. That's pretty impressive, Jamie. Don't know how I'm going to beat that. All right, it's my turn. Woo! I got the spiky shins on. Spiky shins. They are covered from the front and the back. Let's do this. Oh, they're gonna help you in. Oh, thank you. This is nerve wracking. Ah! We're off to a great start. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm liking it. Oh, that's smart. Moving up with his knees. <laughs> ah! Well, don't, don't make that movement. I found one. Right now I'm tied with Jamie. It's four. Four and I found, Oh, I walked past one. Oh no, go back. All right, and uh, this is definitely on the wrong foot. That's great. Oh. <laughs> ah! 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 oh no, you you have to get it on your foot. It's in there. Okay, I'm gonna get it on. Don't worry. Okay. Don't you worry. I did it! And it's out! <laughs> Good job! Ty! Where do I belong? The cool thing is, is that all of us belong somewhere. And we all belong to someone. And that someone is Jesus, which is really good news. Because Jesus knows that we don't always get it right. He knows that we don't always think that we're enough. And he doesn't ask us to. As a matter of fact, if you look at Jesus's closest friends, his first followers, this was a group of people who weren't the most pretty or powerful. They weren't the best or the brightest. They were simply people willing to say yes when he asked them to follow him. But what about when stuff gets real? Because life doesn't magically stop happening when we start following Jesus. Life keeps on going, which means there's gonna be times where we are challenged, where we're pushed, where we get stressed, and we start to drift back to believing the lie that we aren't enough. We start trying to fill in that blank on our own. But when that happens, just remember this, Jesus died on the cross and rose from the graves so that you never have to fill in that blank again. Why? Because His grace 
is more than enough because he filled in that blank for you. So when you feel ashamed, remember that his grace is bigger than your shame. When you feel weak, remember that his strength is with you every step of the way. When you feel like you don't belong and you're just trying to fit in, remember that Jesus died so that you could belong to him. Because when life gets real, and it will, remember that the real you belongs to Jesus and his grace is more than enough. All right, so let's tell you the score. I tied with Jamie on the balloon poppage, but when it came to trying to uh, avoid making my mark, I, I, I had seven and Jamie had zero marks. So that makes Jamie the winner Woo! and me the not winner. Mm. So I feel like you've been on a winning streak recently though. So, you know, it was just time. It was time. Sure, I'll take it. All right, so mystery, mystery box, box, mystery, mystery box. box. Ooh. Oh, it's a pretty mystery box. Do you think there's a pickle in there? It feels like it could be a pickle. Let's see. Oh! Ah! Oh, it's spiders! How funny! Oh. <laughs> There's more! That really scared me. This is awesome. Okay, Loopsters, if you ever feel like you're not enough. Like you don't quite measure up. Or you feel like you have to force yourself to fit in. God knows that we don't always feel like we belong. That's why he sent Jesus. The real you belongs to Jesus. That makes you more than enough. And until next time, enjoy, enjoy the, the ride. ride! Pew! Yay! Pew! If you like this challenge, you will love the wrong straw challenge. The other day, I was asked, have you ever had cheese water? And I said, yes. Actually, I have, thanks to this challenge. Yeah, so check out that challenge. And if this is your first time with us, hit subscribe. It's where you belong. You're a subscriber. Mm -hmm. You're here. You're with us. You belong to the Loop Show.